So last class uh, I started with uh, calcarea. We were trying to understand the physical generals of calcarea. Okay. So what did we discuss as a quick recap? Yeah, the first physical general was tendency to catch cold. Okay, good. And in that, uh, which was the top calcarea which had the tendency to catch cold was calcarea first. Very good. Uh, apart from that, we started with perspiration. I meant to describe the perspiration of calcarea. For a PG learning, we try to bring in different remedies with different characteristic sweat. Okay. I mean, we discussed few. I don't know where exactly we have stopped. Which was the last remedy we spoke? Hepar. How is it? Lacnanthus. And uh, we are done with China? Okay, we are done with China. Conium? Okay, if you are done, we'll just skip this. Graphites? See, important in graphites is it will stain yellow. Okay? And of course, we spoke of Ignatia. Ignatia while eating. Very characteristic. Okay? And uh, iodum? We discuss iodum. Okay. See, in iodum, I want you to remember the excoriation. Excoriating foot sweat. Very important. And hepar is where, you know, we had a small discussion. And in hepar, it is more yeah, offensive. offensive, more like rotten cheese. Okay, when old rotten cheese, the kind of odor it brings in, that is what you have in hepar. Very important. And then uh, lacnanthus is where I was trying to tell you icy cold, see, it is not uh, swelling, it is sweating. Icy cold sweating over forehead. So the affinity of lacnanthus is more over forehead. Okay? And uh, laurocirrhosis, any idea? See, I mean, this is a remedy which is very close to carbovage. Hmm? It is used in uh, life and death situation, laurocirrhosis. And here, sweating after eating. In ignitia, there was sweating during eating. In laurocirrhosis, we are sweating after eating. Okay? Similarly, Merck, any quick inputs? Where do we have, where do we have sweating in Merck? Merck sweating. Or what is the character of sweating in Merck? Huh? More than exhaustive, offensive. Offensive. One of the trios of offensive remedy, night, a syphilitic remedy, night, profuse, and this is very, very important. I wanted this point from you. Sweat does not relieve. A UG learning that you already had. In Merck, though the sweating is profuse, it will not relieve any complaints. Very characteristic. And uh, Fluoric acid, fluoric acid, excoriating, yeah, very good, excoriating, this is how it is given in your repertory, nitric acid, yes, it smells like urine or it can smell like urine of horse, sweat, okay, so both the things have acrid excoriating, urine odor, sweat is of human urine odor, one, or it can be like horse urine. Okay. And uh, pulsatilla. What is that PQRS and pulsatilla? I mean, related to sweating. Who was that? One sided, very good. One sided sweating. Okay. Preferably left side. One sided. One side of the body only sweats. And if you dig in deep, which side? Mainly left side. Pulsatilla. Okay. And uh, Sambucus. I hope you have discussed this. Sambucus, mainly associated with respiratory complaints. Asthma with sweating. Okay? So, on waking, again very characteristic. And whole body except head. In Sambucus, one more PQRS is the entire body sweats except head. Hmm? And we have Sanicola. Quick inputs about Sanicola. Huh? Okay, more than while sleeping. Okay, good. Bed sleep below. Even after? Even after bath, it smells. Sour smelling. Oily. Huh? 
foot sweat good but what is pqrs okay good to what extent see excoriates the socks good excoriates the shoe you have only two remedies done you have only two remedies in your repertory one is sanicola and you know the better one better one is silesia so sanicola also has a little amount of uh, silesia in it what is sanicola spring water of ottawa it has calcarea it has magnesium it has natrum it has uh, borax it has silesia is a combination of so many things so sanicola sweating in between toes and eats of shoes and socks very characteristic don't uh, forget and you also have silesia now what is special in silesia what is special okay pumps and soles offensiveness offensiveness very bad smelling okay especially the foot sweat smells bad if this person's person removes his shoe you'll be into problems okay fine so i mean uh, I, i don't want to take names but then way back i had an assistant you know this gentleman had uh, issues with uh, foot sweat okay and uh, he would enter the clinic with shoe and when i asked uh, all of us are removing shoe why you are entering with shoe is a very witty guy sir if i remove my shoe nobody will stay inside the clinic <laughs> everybody will go out of the clinic very nice guy he has got a beautiful practice uh, in a different place but uh, this was his uh, issue the issue is you know uh, he had very bad uh, smelling foot sweat one remedy is silesia so silesia and uh, tuja any quick inputs tuja good uncovered parts and and sweat sweats like a uh, sweat smells like honey mainly the genitalia okay so that is uh, uncovered parts sweat during sleep stops as soon as he wakes up see the difference between sambucus sambucus and waking and tuja as soon as he wakes up the sweat stops okay your patients coming with the same complaints verat veratramal cold perspiration any quick inputs why verat sweats if you want to link the medicine part okay collapse collapse shock collapse veso vagal shock they going to collapse and that's when they start sweating two more remedies should come to your mind here one is very good carbovis and the other one is camphora camphora two more remedies clear so sweating uh before menses sweating with diarrhea and the odor of sweat sweat in verat is bitter it is bitter and uh, moving ahead cotylus oridus i left it blank they say sweat is bloody okay so cotylus oridus how is it in nakshmashata hmm nakshmashata how is it in nakshmashata nakshmashata Huh? there is lot of dryness people who rarely perspire that is nakshmashata okay hardly any perspiration hardly any perspiration that's more of nakshmashata so perspiration or hardly people who perspire is nakshmashata so we look at sepia sepia perspiration from anger when they are when they are angry they start sweating that is sepia okay perspiration anger from is sepia see moving ahead we have medorinum something very characteristic in medorinum what is it medorinum sweat any idea i i'll give you a clue this is something to do with the odor this is something to do with the odor in medorinum yeah this sweat very good this sweat is fishy odor fishy odor okay 
and uh, Kalika. Okay, I mean there is that combination, perspiration, backache, weakness, good. But what is the character of perspiration is the question. Perspiration mainly on painful parts. Perspiration mainly on painful parts. The only remedy which has sweating on painful parts, that is calicar, calicar, okay. See if I come for viva, I have rights to ask all these questions because I have taught you, fine, okay. So sabadela, something very characteristic in sabadela. Yeah, we will not go beyond onion and garlic, you are done with it, but something very characteristic in sabadela. Sweating which is paroxysmal. Sweat, periodical which comes at the same hour. Okay. Generally, which is the remedy we think of? Cedron. Very good. So, Cedron has general periodicity. Now, the periodicity in Sabadilla is limited or it is more to do with sweat. So, how is it? It is given periodical at the same hour. It is 11 now, it is the time for me to sweat. That is Sabadella. Fine? Very, very characteristic. And uh, calcarea, we will come back to the remedy that uh, we wanted to explore. Now, how is it in calcarea? That is why I put that question mark. Hope you are all connected. We are talking of uh, calcarea physical generals and we are looking at the sweat of calcarea. Okay. How is it in calcarea? They sweat very easily, very good, very important point. See, calcarea does not require any exertion, fine. Or slightest exertion, they start sweating. People who can easily sweat, okay. I mean, they need not exert so much to sweat, that is calcarea. So, calcarea, there are few points. Now, before I take up uh, the character of sweating in calcarea, I want to give you the list of remedies which are capable of producing sweat in calcarea. The topmost is calcarea cough. Then we have calcarea iode in the order. Calcarea sulf, calcarea hypophosphoricum, calcarea phos, calcarea silicata. This is also a very, very important remedy. Combination of calcarea and silicia. So, the salts of calcarea these are all the remedies which can predominantly sweat. Now, as you know, the sweating in calcarea is more during sleep, okay. Night, morning, day, any time they can sweat. If you ask when do you sweat, they can either sweat in the day, they can either sweat at night, morning or even while sleeping, okay. Anything else you would like to add? Okay. Sweat there are two things here. Sweating can be generalized or sweating can be in parts. Okay? So, when you are talking of parts, calcarea has an affinity to sweat over the uh, occipital region, predominantly occiput. It can be the entire head, but more so over the occiput. You will be shocked when the mother tells, sir, my child sweats so profusely. I have cases where mothers tell they change the pillows. We read in books and when such symptoms are told we laugh. But, but you will be surprised to see the same situation happening in clinic. I have a case where the mother changes the pillow at night because it is soaked with uh, sweat. It is almost wet. Hmm? So, children, especially children who sweat overhead, over back or it can be, see another PQRS, so nicely given in your uh, books, source books in your repertory, perspiration even in cold air. When do we generally perspire? Yeah, hot. And how is it in calcarea? Even in cold weather, they start sweating. So, that is the speciality in calcarea. Slightest exertion. Okay. And this exertion can be caution. It could be as simple as eating 
or it could be coughing. Any of these activities can bring in sweat in calcare. Okay? And uh, sweat can be profuse or it can be in single parts. I wanted to tell you it can be a generalized sweating or it can be sweating in parts. Okay? And uh, see, uh, one more PQRS you have. Sweating over eyebrows and lids. So if you have a patient who is sweating only over eyebrows and lids, only remedy in our materia medica is calcarea fos. Only remedy is calcarea fos. Okay? So moving ahead, yeah, they can sweat anywhere. Ears, nose, face, genitals, male and female. Odor, what is the character of odor in calcarea? Sour smelling, good. Sour smelling discharges. I'll talk to you about the discharges a little later. We are focusing on the perspiration. So this is how they perspire in calcarea. Okay? So this slide is what that is summing up the entire uh, gist of calcareous sweat. Probably char is what you can add. Hmm? Okay. See, tendency to catch cold was one thing and then the perspiration was the second thing. Any other physical generals that you can think of? The third physical general I am talking to you related to calcarea group is the side affinity. Any idea which part calcareas predominantly affect? Calcareas predominantly are right sided. Okay? If you look at your repertory, the generalities, side affected, you have calcarea carp, calcarea acidicum, calcarea iode, and calcarea fos, which affects the right side. Two calcareas mentioned in your repertory which affects the left side is calcarea ars and calcarea floor. Okay? So uh, what is the statement here? Calcareas predominantly are right sided. Okay? For example, if you have entire picture of calcarea and if the person has predominantly left sided complaints, then you can think of calcarea ars or calcarea floor. Okay. So, we will uh, go ahead, we will talk of small generals, physical generals. When it comes to thirst, when it comes to thirst, any idea? There are only two options, thirsty, thirstless. So, how are calcareas? Calcareas are thirsty. Huh? So, now the question is, which is the only calcarea which is thirstless? It is a big list. Do, don't keep hitting randomly. Think. The only calcarea which is thirstless. See, these are all important. If you are prescribing based on group characters, these things become very, very important. Hmm? So, calcarea car, vas, self, majority of the calcareas are thirsty. A thirstless calcarea is, is iode, floor, silicata. Any other calcareas you can think of? See, the remedy is calcarea fos. Thirstless calcarea. Calcarea fos. Okay? Now, why you, you did not think of fos? Because you all know fos is thirsty. Fos, as a, I'll give you a beautiful clue. Fos as a remedy is thirsty. But you have a phosphorus patient and he is thirstless, then you can think of. Uh, Calcarea fos, ferrum fos, mac fos, based on other uh, features. Okay, so calcarea fos is thirstless. Other calcareas are thirsty. Okay, we'll go ahead. This is important. Now another important character of calcarea is it is hemorrhagic. Okay, so you see hemorrhages in calcarea, calcarea group. Now. Calcarea group. Now, how do we study or how do we discuss this particular topic? Few things I have just uh, to make it a little more interesting. 
first thing is we look at the character of bleeding okay we look at the character of bleeding and then we will look at the calcareas which have an affinity for uh, epistaxis gum bleed lower down so that will be little more useful for a pg student so any quick uh, inputs about the character of bleeding you have in calcarea first question so your silence says calcarea has no bleeding is a three mark remedy under hemorrhages calcarea is three mark see when i say character what do i expect from you is it color yeah is it coagable non coagable use your uh, physio knowledge yeah active passive good why i am using the word physio knowledge very good calcium is required for coagulation and what is calcium is calcarea okay so one beautiful clue you get here is in this remedy calcarea you have more of uh, non coagulable bleeding okay so the clotting will not happen very quick the clotting will happen very slow non coagulable bleeding okay clotted bleeding and the bleeding which is bright red more of active bleeding fine bright red clotted non coagulable or slowly clotting brownish and hemorrhages during menopause these are few things given in your repertory okay i have taken it from the repertory done now which are all the calcareas which can produce hemorrhages very good calcarea first calcarea self good see the important is calcarea carp first thing calcarea carp calcarea self calcarea first and of course you have calcarea iode floor and calcarea silicata i have just used different colors calcarea carb and calcarea fos sorry calcarea self are three mark remedies mentioned und under the repertory under the rubric hemorrhages okay then you have calcarea fos in the hierarchy then you have iod floor and silicia one one mark okay then so this is the first thing you need to understand hemorrhage the character and which are all the remedies which are capable of producing hemorrhages in calcarea group okay now the very important thing is where do you have hemorrhages for example if it is in nose if there is epistaxis which calcareas can cause epistaxis three calcareas mentioned in your books carb self and fos okay if there is bleeding from gums so which are all the calcareas in which you see bleeding two calcareas are mentioned in your repertory calcarea carp and calcarea silicata okay and if there is vomiting if there is vomiting any wild guess which calcarea carp fos ars probable see now why why you thought of ars i am happy you thought of ars why you are thinking of what causes hematemesis so carcinosin or what is it cancer could be a cause for uh, uh, hematemesis okay so probably arsenic might come up calcarea acetica can come up okay so this is how you should start thinking repertory gives calcarea car calcarea self and calcarea iod hmm okay and uh, under the same thing it is mentioned if there is blackish vomiting blood which is blackish the remedy given is calcarea self okay or calcarea silicata i am not very sure kindly check calcarea self or calcarea silicata i'll also confirm now urine or not urine stools which are bloody meaning hemorrhages from anus and which calcarea has an affinity to produce hemorrhages from anus 
Okay. Again, you have uh, carb, sulf, and phos. Three top calcareas. Okay. And uh, bloody urine. The only calcarea mentioned in our repertory under urine bloody is calcarea carb. Calcarea carb. Okay. The only calcarea. Hmm? I have taken this from synthesis. Must be I don't know if other repertories have more remedies. This is from synthesis. Okay. Now hemorrhages from uterus. For example, menorrhagia, metorrhagia, dubis. Which calcareas has affinity to produce hemorrhages from uterus? Fos, huh? iod, carb. Don't miss carb. Carb is the queen. Don't miss it. So calcarea carb. When you look at menses protracted, menses prolonged, one top remedy is calcarea carb. You also have calcarea sulf, calcarea arts, iod, and silicia. Fine. And uh, from lungs, lungs, bloody expectoration, uh, phosphorus, iodum, carb. Almost similar remedies. Okay. Now in calcarea, hemorrhages, let it be from menorrhagia, metorrhagia, hemorrhages will end up into anemia. In calcareas, hemorrhage will end up in anemia. Very important. Hmm? There is a rubric in your generalities. Hemorrhages leading to anemia meaning so much of hemorrhage that the blood uh, count is dropping. You can think of calcarea, beautiful remedy for uh, anemia. Okay? So before I talk of one more physical characters or physical generals and then stop, what did we discuss? First was tendency to catch cold, second which was very extensive and uh, if you start learning every symptom like that, then calcarea will be a very extensive learning. So I've just given you a clue how it can be compared. When we spoke of perspiration, and third we spoke of thirst, 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 and fourth yeah we spoke of side affinity, right, left, predominantly right-sided. Okay, and then last thing we spoke was hemorrhage. For today, we will talk of another very important area and then we can uh, stop. Now, what am I trying to tell you here is, calcarea group, what common aversions and what common desires they have, okay? We are talking of aversions. I know, I, I didn't bring desires first because uh, you'll make a huge noise. Aversions, huh? very good meat. Good meat, milk. Yes, agreed. Meat, milk. Now, why do they have an aversion to meat? Why do they have an aversion to meat? Huh? Again, your physiology. I am not asking you something out of the box. Huh? Okay. See, meat not necessarily has calcium. Probably milk has calcium. Okay. But meat, see now if you look at the uh, digestion and if you look at the calories that is uh, you know given away in the process of digestion, meat is more of fat. So that gives lot of uh, calories, correct no? I don't know the exact thing, if you ate something, don't worry, we will not look into that. So it gives more calories and calcarea does not require so much of calories. Calcarea basically is a lousy person, lazy person. So it does not require so much of uh, energy, fine. Then he just wants to be aloof, okay. So for him uh, that kind of uh, thing is not required. If you look into a repertory, desires uh, meat, you have tuberculinum, okay. You have calcarea force and you have remedies like that which are more energetic, very restless remedies. So calcareas generally, they will have a strong aversion to meat. They will not relish meat, 
they will not enjoy meat. Calcarea carb, calcarea salt, calcarea silicata. And uh, milk, as the Vaishnava just told, many calcareas, they have an aversion to milk. Calcarea carb, phos, sal, silicia. Cal calcarea silicata. Something interesting coming up here. Desires, sorry, aversion, aversion, warm food. Okay. It makes some sense here. Calcareas are chilly, but they have strong aversion to warm food. In the next slide, you will see that calcareas, they like more of cold food. Okay. Now, a small question for you. Which is the only calcarea which has desires for warm food? Calcareas. Calcareas. Very good. Calcareas. Okay. You have a rubric, desires soup, desires liquid food, warm food. You have calcareas there. So, I have written in brackets, except calcareas. Okay. See, now, my idea of teaching like this is, tomorrow you have a calcarea person, done? and uh, everything is set, in the end you ask for desires and he says, I love hot things. So, calcareas get ruled out, ruled out. But if he is still calcarea and is very anxious, restless, desires hot, chilly, uh, do not hesitate giving calcareas. It is a beautiful uh, remedy. Initial days I would miss calcarea, thinking you know, there is no desire for cold and he likes warmth. I would do not calcarea, but then slowly, you know, with my, uh, uh, what is it, uh, understanding, fine, calcarea arts is a remedy which has desire for warm things, okay. So, we will go ahead. Similarly, calcareas, all calcareas, they have aversion to vegetables, green leafy vegetables, vegetables, except one calcarea. That is the question for you. Which is the only calcarea which has desires for vegetables? Calcarea huh? silicata, no issues, good. No, it is not iod, no problem. Ars, it is not ours. <laughs> okay. So, calcarea self, calcarea self. Except calcarea self, all, all other calcareas, they have aversion to vegetables, good. Now, surprisingly, Aversion X. Huh? Yeah. Which is the only calcarea which has aversion to X. I do not know if you are understanding the importance of this class. Tomorrow you have calcarea, everything is set. And then he says, Sir, I hate X. Then we lose, uh, you know, our. Uh, probably in future class I will talk of uh, different calcareas. We will try to. I will give you the key note points. Okay. Now, the only remedy or the only calcarea which has aversion to X is calcarea floor. Huh? Calcarea floor. All taken from repertory is, is all there. Calcarea floor. Okay. Are the aversions clear? Hmm? We will quickly look at the desires. Before I start, you know, showing it over the PPT. From your side, the desires of calcarea? Good cold food, undigestible food, boiled eggs, uh, pica, which all comes under undigestible things. Good. Vegetables. Sweets. See, vegetables, do they desire vegetables? Yeah. Only calcarea self has desire for desire for vegetables. In general, calcareas, they have aversion to vegetables. Okay. So, desires, one is uh, cold, egg, uh, undigestible things. Okay. We will quickly look at this. Surprisingly, they have desire for alcohol, but not uh, very highly placed. Two mark, one mark, you have calcarea. Calcarea, calf, ars, iod and self. Desires alcohol. There are better remedies, okay. But uh, calcarea carb is two mark. R iodine and sulf should be one one mark each, okay. Now very important. 
ice creams cold things ice creams they love ice creams better remedies phosphorus phosphorus plain phosphorus they love ice creams so two calcareas which like ice creams are calcarea carp and calcarea phos okay smoked meat and uh, sausages what are sausages though it is not very uh, famous in our country india but uh, abroad sausages are uh, very famous you know what are sausages processed meat you know minced meat with uh, uh, you know they make it a paste add spices and uh, generally it is had it is had so the only calcarea which has desires sausages what is this smoked meat pork okay something that is cooked in the coal coal fire fine tandoor smoked smoked meat the only calcarea is calcarea phos good calcarea phos so if it is a vegetarian version of calcarea phos they will like more of tandoor things dry things tandoor roti okay or uh, many things are uh, done even vegetarian things are done cooked in coal so those dry things is what calcarea phos might like okay done so dry food meat see phos requires lot of energy and if they require more energy they require that kind of food which will provide them more energy see how beautiful it is so calcarea carp is sitting in a place fine he might like meat i don't deny but it, his body does not require so much of meat many times they have an aversion to uh, meat but phos iod they like more of uh, meat pork okay desire salt surprisingly you see this in many calcareas calcarea car floor phos self they all have desire for salt desire salt and uh, dr sunil was what happened you want this dr sunil was talking of uh, desires undigestible things pika fine many calcarea houses no the kids would have uh, digged in deep the wall they would have eaten the wall fine okay uh, i mean they would have eaten it literally chalk charcoal many of these undigestible things they like a word of caution here when you have patient who come to you with this please do check for anemia you give calcarea i have no issues but kindly make sure you just put your finger and uh, check for pallor very important okay hmm? then think of calcarea nitric acid alumina any remedy fine but make sure you know you just check for is hp Huh? No, no. Generally, people who are anemic, they have craving for all these things. And as a physician, many times you uh, take care of that uh, HB level, the desire for pika will go. Okay, fine. So just make sure he is not anemic. Fine. Okay, he is not anemic and he has got desire for pika. will add more value towards our remedy but if he is anemic and if he has got desire for pika it can still be a common symptom and we homeopaths always hunt for uncommon symptom so that clarity you need to have that will that will make you a better homeopath okay so we'll get back we are talking of uh, desire for chalk and another desire you have in calcarea is they have desires for sweets so calcarea carb flour phos and self these are the calcareas which have desire for sweets and 
desire for spices any quick uh, thought which are all the health areas which will have desire for spices they want their food to be very spicy could be fast could be self or a better remedy is iod calcarea iod so calcarea flour and calcarea fast are two remedies which have desire for spices i was talking to you about calcarea iod the only calcarea which has desire for stimulants the only calcarea which has desire for stimulants is calcarea iod is calcarea iod okay so what is this desires warm food desires soup which is the calcarea calcareas calcareas as desire for warm food and i mean soup okay and uh, desires x which is the calcarea which has aversion to x calcarea flour don't forget calcarea flour but in general as we all know from our ug classes calcareas they have a strong desire for eggs boiled eggs okay so these are the desires of calcarea hmm? so any quick questions in the next class we'll try to take up the remaining uh, physical generals okay uh, we can talk of uh, the other conditions like uh, many tumors calcareas get indicated what is the character of tumor all those things we'll try to take it up in the next class we can talk of the physical appearance uh, there are at least some five six physical generals i want to touch in the next class i will do that and then we can talk of sphere of action miasm all those things and of course the mind the interesting part before i stop any quick questions related to the topic i hope there was uh, there were few things which were new to all of us like for example that aversions the desires and the hemorrhage okay i hope uh, it will somewhere help you in your uh, practice that is the main idea of uh, doing a class so extensively hmm? no questions chalo then thank you if you have no questions we'll stop and we'll continue in the next class okay thank you